Hi. Hi, Evelyn. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Yes. How are you? Good, and you? I'm okay. okay. Very good. Hi, Gabriela. I guess we're going to have some more people today. Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Nadia, can you hear me? All right. All right. Uh, so let's let's try to see if you guys can hear me. Gabriela, Nidia, and the person that is using a Galaxy J6. Can you guys yes, hear me? Hear you. Excellent, yes, Gabriela. Hear you. Very good. Thank you. What about Nidia? Can you hear me? I guess Nidia is not around. And who is behind the cell phone Galaxy J6? I need to know your name so I can like always ask you questions if necessary. I guess the person is not there. All right. Okay. So Gabriela and Evelyn, you can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Gabriela, you were not in class yesterday, were you? No, I'm sorry. I thought the class was at 9 p.m. So I'm uh, sorry. Oh, all right. That's <laughs> I okay. Have a mistake. All right. Don't worry about it. I think uh, another student had the same issue. All right. But no, the class is from yeah. 8 to 9. All right. Okay. Very good. Right. So welcome, Gabriela. My name is Jessica. Thank all you. right. Jessica, I'm going to be with you uh, in this course. All right. Very good. And uh, Galaxy J6, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Saida. Hi, Saida. My name is Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Saida. Saida, you were not in class yesterday, were you? No, because the schedule was at 9 p.m. All right. Yeah, okay. That's the same issue that Gabriela had and some other students. All right. Yeah, just to make sure the class is from eight to nine, okay? All right, so that's okay, Ty, that's okay. You're welcome to the class today. So as I said, my name is Jessica, all right? So I'm going to be helping you guys with couple two. Freddy, hello. Uh, Nidia, I can hear well. It sounds like they make, okay, it's all right. Oh my goodness. All right, so uh, Nidia, maybe you have an issue with your, um, I guess, phone or the um, your earphones all right so just make sure that you keep on trying maybe you can hear us better all right Freddy can you hear me hi Freddy hi teacher yes I can hear you clearly excellent Freddy you were not in class yesterday either were you mm -hmm. yesterday yes no teacher I'm so sorry I that's can't okay. you, you couldn't all right that's okay. okay Freddy don't worry about it my name is Jessica okay Freddy Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Very good. So Julia, welcome to class. All right, guys. So yesterday we were yesterday was our first class. So we talked about reference questions. Okay. And just to like for the ones that are new, I mean that were not in class yesterday because of the schedule problem that we had yesterday. Uh, yesterday we were talking about how my way of working functions, all right? How I work with this. And the idea is to stop all preparation. So the idea is to give you an idea of how the topo looks like and the type of questions you will face, okay? Right now we will begin, yesterday we began already with the reading section, all right? And we have four sections and we have four weeks. So we're gonna work on a section per week, all right? For example, in the reading section, we have four types of questions that we're going to be studying on this course, all right? So yesterday we studied reference questions and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about something else, okay? So the idea is for you to watch the platform before you come to class, because whatever is in the platform, that's the same topic I talk about at night, okay? It's not a different topic. What I try to do is I try to give you ideas of how to like work with these questions. We do some practices, okay? And then I also give you some skills that you can work on or that you have to develop a little bit more and stuff like that. Yesterday I sent the PPT I used last night and I also sent a worksheet of 25 
the most 25 common Greek roots and Latin roots. Did you get that, guys? Yes. Yeah, you did? All right, did yeah. everybody get it? Yeah, is everybody on the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, so the same thing's gonna happen today. Hi, Rodrigo. Uh, the same thing's gonna happen today, all right? So as soon as we finish the class, I will send the PPT, all right? So for you to have it as a reference, okay? Good evening. Good evening, Rodrigo, welcome. All right, so here you go, guys. We're gonna, I'm gonna start sharing um, what I have for you for this class, okay? So we talk about uh, the reference questions, okay? So um, this is what we about tonight, and we have this here. All right, so this is what it says, okay? Uh, Freddy, can you read that, please? Can you see? Hi. Yes, okay. highlighted, highlighted word within the passage. All right, so highlight, you're gonna, the reference questions, you're going to, um, find a highlighted word within the passage, all right? Remember that on TOEFL, you're giving a reading passage, all right? And these types of questions, you identify them very clearly because they are highlighted. A word is highlighted, all right? Continue, Freddy, please. What it refers to. All right, so the highlighted word is wanting you to know what the highlighted word is referring to, okay? Continue. These reference words, are replacing something. Mm -hmm. We need to find out what it's being replaced. What is being replaced? So these reference words, they are there to trick, like to play a trick on us, all right? They are there because they want us to get the, uh, the information that is being hidden in a way, all right? So they trick us, all right? Because they mention many things and then they say, so what is it refers to? And then you have to go back to the reading and do the reading again, all right? And find out what it refers to at that, at that particular question, all right? So keep in mind that the reference questions, they are you have to find something out. What is it replacing? What is it talking about, okay? So far so good? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, I know that I do a lot of the talking here, but that's because I try to guide you through the types of questions that you will encounter and how they will look like, okay? So if you have a question, please stop me. Yesterday with the people that I had in class, have anybody taken the TOEFL test? And the ones that were in class yesterday, they said no. What about Freddy? What about uh, Saida, your name, right? Yeah. Uh, Saida or Freddy, have you taken the TOEFL test? Gabby, have you taken it? No. No. All right. Okay. Yet. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, you, this is like brand new for you. So, it's yes. good because it prepares you to find out the types of questions there are on a TOEFL test. Okay. So, this one is very easy to identify. I'm going to show you some examples. All right. And they are highlighted. All right. That's the key. They are highlighted. Okay. Another key you're going to, we're going to find it right now here. Yes, reference questions. Gabriela, can you read please? Yes. Are the questions that ask you to look at the highlighted pronoun or other preference word in the passages? Then you are given four nouns from the same section of the highlighted pronoun. You have then to choose which noun called reference or the four answer choice the highlighted pronoun refers to. All right, thank you, Gabriela, very good. So what are the reference questions? They are the questions that ask you to look at a highlighted pronoun. Usually, you're gonna see it, I have a detail for you. Usually they are pronouns, okay? Or other reference words in the passage. Then you're given four choices, very similar choices. And remember the one of the, perp like a very big point of TOEFL is to trick you. All right, because they want to find out how much English you know and how, how well you master it, all right? So here it says you have then to choose which one or which noun of the four answer choices uh, the highlighted pronouns refer to, all right? So they give you four choices and you have to choose one, all right? Hopefully you will choose the right one, okay? Let's continue. Before you answer, uh, Saida, can you read please? 
Before you try to answer so, such a question, you have to remember two things. Mm -hmm. One, the refer almost always comes after the referring word, highlighted word in the passage. Okay. Two, the referring isn't always the closest word to the referring word. All right. So thank you, Zaida. All right. So just make sure that you don't fall on this trick that you say, ah, oh, it's going to be. My answer has to be close to the reference word. That's not necessarily true. All right, so you need to like read everything, all right, before you actually give an answer and analyze what's going on. All right, here, Rodrigo, can you continue, please? Here are some. Here are some of the reference words, highlighted words you may be asked about. Mm -hmm. Person pronouns, adjectives, he, him, his, she, her, her hers, it is, they, it, them, it's, theirs. All right. So it, we're talking, it, yes. So the reference word may be a personal pronoun, all right, or an adjective, all right? So we have he, him, all right? That, what does uh, him refer to, all right? Or what does she refer to? All right, so we have, we can play with this ones, or we have number two, reflexive pronouns. All right, can, uh, Julia, can you read reflexive pronouns, please? Reflexive pronouns, himself, herself, itself, themselves. All right, go we'll on with the demonstratives. Hello, sorry? Yeah, go on with number three, please. Okay, mm -hmm. demonstrative pronouns, adjectives, this, that, this does all right or evelyn can you read number four sure other reference words some few any none several both are there must many one once another other others the former uh, the, the later. Later. later later all right very good the later all right so here, not, you're not only going to be asked about, for example, what does he refer to? But sometimes you're going to be asked, like, for example, what does one refer to? Okay, and then you need to go back and read the passage, all right? Here we have, what is the purpose of this? Uh, we have, what's your name uh, for the person that says Agamis? Hi, what's your name? Trith. Excuse me? Astrid. Astrid, I'm sorry, Astrid. Okay, can you read that, please? What is the purpose? Uh, what is the purpose? To understand what they are talking about without repeat, repeating. Repeating? Repeating. Explicitly? The subject or noun they've, they've already, already used. Thank you, Astrid. Very good. Okay, so how to answer? You need to remember this, reading carefully is the key, all right? So you need to read carefully and analyze what is the reference question, I mean the reference, yeah, question is replacing, okay? So you're thinking, okay, so I need to replace something here and I'm giving four choices, which one is the best choice to fit in, okay? The skills you need, a skill you need to develop, let's see, Gabby, can you read it again, please? Look at the passage and read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned. Then read, yes. a, then read a few sentences that come before it. All right, very good. So here what you have to do is that you have to look at the passage and read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned. Then read a few sentences that come before it, okay? Usually what's going to happen is they're going to have Highlighted word, and then right next to it, you're going to have a short paragraph. You're not going to read the whole passage because it's usually longer. So what they do is they take the short, uh, they make a short um, paragraph within the reference word. All right, and then you have to read it. Either you read everything, but remember that TOEFL test is timed. Okay, so you don't have a lot of time to think about it and take a long time to read. So you need to like either read a few sentences that come before it, if you feel that it's not so complicated, but sometimes you may just read it and you still don't know the answer. So when that happens, you have to read the whole paragraph in order for you to have a better understanding of what is going on. 
okay? Here we have another skill. Uh, David, can you read please, David Romero, a skill you need to develop? Another one? Mm -hmm. David, can you hear me? No? All right. Okay. Hi. Hi, Hi teacher. Ah, uh-huh. Good evening. Good I evening. Think, I think David Romero is my is my son. Uh -huh. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my God. You scare me, my head. <laughs> okay. Okay. Still, you need to develop. Uh -huh. Read the four answer choices carefully, then sub, sub substitute substitute each one of them for the highlighted word. Read the sentence again with the answer choice and check it, and check if it makes, makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All right. So what one of the uh, a key or a tip that you can do when you're taking this test, if you have the time, what you can do is be like you have the highlighted word, you can replace it with the four choices. One of them than the other ones, if you know the vocabulary, all right? So that would be, that would make it easier. All right, so let's practice. I wanna, sh I want you to see this, all right? And I want you to like understand how these uh, questions are structured. This is an example, all right? So here we have a short paragraph, okay? And then if you notice it, the word it, it's in red, all right? So that's the referent word, all right? So the question is, the word it in the passage refers to, and it gives you four choices, food, term, calorie, or unit. So again, you have to go back and read the short, pair, or the short passage for you to understand what is it in this case. Is it food? Is it term? Is it calorie? Or is it unit? All right. So let's see here. Uh, Anidia. Hi, Nidia. Can you hear me? Nidia, Nidia, oh, but she's... Yes. Oh, Nidia, you can hear me now? Yes. All right, Nidia, very good. Can you read the example, please? Okay. While people generally link the term calorie with food, it is a unit of measurement that can be applied to any substance possessing energy. All right, very good. And then go on with the uh, question, the word? It in the passage refers to the media continue the word it. Uh huh. Well, it in the passage refers to a food. Uh huh. E term. All right. E calorie. Right. D unit. Perfect. Okay. So here again, guys, what do you think the answer would be? What is it referring to? Is it referring to food? Is it referring to term? Is it referring to calorie? Or is it referring to unit? I think that is calorie. 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 All right. Calorie. Why? Tell me why. I don't know why. You have to have an explanation why. Because it sounds yes. good. <laughs> why? Why did you guys choose calorie? Did everybody choose calorie? Or did you choose something else? No, I choose calorie. Excellent. Calorie. All right. Now, why calorie? Is it too obvious? <laughs> because refer to the food. Be because the explication before that. Because the calorie. explanation. All right. All right. Food is not a measurement. Food is not a unit of measurement. So food is, uh, that cannot be the right answer. All right. Unit is after the referent word. So you cannot have that because it's after it. Okay. So we have, we're left with two choices, either term or calorie, all right? But term is not a unit of measurement. So term is also not the good answer. So we're left off with calorie, all right? Because it's a, a unit of measurement that can be applied to any substance possessing energy, all right? Um, I know sometimes it's difficult to explain why. So usually we just know the answer because it makes sense. Okay, but the idea is for us to like, because we're practicing to have the time to say, ah, this is why it should be that right answer. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So this is what we did yesterday. 
my uh, my job here is to like walk you through the type of question, give you an example like this one, all right? And then I have some other four, I think, uh, passages that I want you to take a picture of, all right? And then I will send you to your groups. I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go into every group, checking how you're doing, if you have questions, if you have some words that maybe you don't know how to pronounce, or maybe you don't know the meaning, and we can find the meaning together, all right? And then we come back, we share the answers, and we say why. So that gives you a better idea of what's going on. You understand what we're going to do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's get ready here. Either you take a screenshot or you take a picture, however it works for you. In case you're not able to take it, let me know so I can go to your group and share the present or these um, reading passages with you, okay? So this is number one. Please take a picture. Just give me a second. Take a picture. That would be number one. Okay. Please, please. Hey, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. I'm waiting. That's okay. Right here. Okay. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. This is number two. I'm just going to move us here. That's number two. Ready? Yes. All right. Then we have number three. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have number four. All right. Now, just to let yeah. you know, number one and number, oh, sorry, number one and number two, that's how it, it's going to look like on your TOEFL test. It is highlighted like this. All right. And then you see the word and say, oh, that's a reference word. Okay. So I need to replace it by something. Okay, these, these, the number three and number four, I just type them in, all right? So that's why they look different. But these are like the real questions that you are going to face, okay? So I'm going to, did everybody take the pictures? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right, very good. So we're gonna- There is only four questions, am I right? Oh, only four, yes. Okay. All right, Manuel, hi, Manuel. Let's see who else do I have here. Manuel, hello, can you hear us? All right, okay. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to send you right now to your breakout room. The idea is, for example, if I'm working with Freddy, the idea is that Freddy and I, we read it together, okay? Either you read like half of it and then I read the, the other half, or I read number one and then you read number two. So we both practice reading and then we can also like share ideas on which one would it be, all right? So that's the whole idea behind this, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. okay. okay. Let's go, it, it's in pairs again, so make sure that you uh, accept the invitation and then you go back to your um, group, okay? So you can accept the invitation now. Manuel. Hi, Manuel.
by the chat in um, yes because it's not the 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 way to to share the 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 screen isn't it Nidia, are you having a problem with anything no no uh, I want to, to I kind of want the, the the screens and I I think there is no way to share the the screen. So mm -hmm. I put it on on the chat on All right. on the WhatsApp group. Yes. All right. Thanks, Nini. This is the first one. Okay, thanks. Um, I'll send you the second one. <laughs> yes, I do. Let me know if you need anything else, all right? Okay, thank you. Um, the main reason for this annual shifting of residence is that during the northern winter, food becomes scarce, and the cold temperatures make survival difficult. Some species are well adapted to these harsh conditions, but for those that are moving south to warm condition is advantage. The word those in this passage refers to northern winters, cold temperatures, harsh conditions, or some bird species? Yeah, for me, it's for cold, cold temperature because there are, uh, and when, when it starts the winter, the main reason is for uh, the temperature is cool and it's difficult survivor. Mm, what well, do you think, Roberto? For you? For me, in this case, it for me, it's letter B. It has to be some bird species. Why, Roberto? Because it's talking about those. Those is to make a reference of a previous topic that they have already explained. All right. Okay. At the same, just like uh, I don't know if it's at the same sentence. Yeah. Yes. It, it's at okay. the same sentence. Manuel, if you read carefully, and that's why one of the uh, the key is to just read a couple of lines before the reference word is some species of birds, all right, some species are well adapted to these harsh conditions. But for those, all right, for those who, those bird species that, are, that aren't moving south to warmer conditions is at the, yeah? Yeah. All right, Manuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. All right. Yes, I understand. Right. Very good. Uh, Roberto, I think. Yeah. Uh, let me see the word where it says winter food becomes. Can you read that part, Roberto, for me? Well, which one? Uh, where it says winter food becomes. It's the fourth line down from the bottom up. From the bottom, four lines up. From the bottom, two lines up. Well, during the northern winters, food becomes scarce. Yes. And the cold temperatures make survival difficult. Right. So the pronunciation is scarce. Oh, all right. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Go on with the other guys, please. Very good. That was number okay. one or number two. This is number one. I'm all just right. about to share the number two Excellent. because he, right. doesn't, yeah. he doesn't have access to the pictures. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I think it will be option D. Mm -hmm. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Gabriela. How are you doing? Hi. Teacher, well, um, we are answering the second exercise. Uh-huh. How did yeah. you do number one? Well, number one, 
We think With there is option D. Option D, sunbird species? Yes. Yeah, why, Gabriela? Why, Freddy? Tell me why. Why would that be the right answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, because we think that also is talking about some birds that are moving in this condition. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. That's the right answer. Yes. Some bird species. Okay. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Well, and the second one we think is letter D2, um, our planet. Let me see. Can you, can you, are you sharing the screen? Were you sharing the screen before? No, we have the the pictures. <laughs> yes, I have the picture in my phone picture. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'm gonna share it so we can see it together. That was number one, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, yes. So letter D for you, our plan. Yes, because yeah. for example, in this part in the paragraph, mm -hmm. such bright could reduce the amount of solar energy reaching the surface of our planet. Uh, that's plunging. Uh, plunging. 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 Plunging uh, it. Plunging that into regular cold periods. In right. that part, uh, always we are talking about planet. Our planet. Perfect. Yeah. Plunging what? The planet. Very good. Mm -hmm. yes. Nice. Very good. Do you know what plunging is? Sorry? Do you know what plunge is? To plunge? Do you know what that yeah. word is? Gabriel Hansen? Yes, I know. All right, Gabriela, you know the meaning of that word? To plunge? It's like, um, kind of, like, reduce it? Mm, not really. It's like to get hit. Okay. Como hundir. Right. Como hundir, that's right. Yeah, but okay. yeah, but, uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. That, well, the word that is uh, before mm -hmm. plunge, the... that, or oh, I don't know if it's correct. Yes, 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 it is. What is in Spanish? That's a hard word. That's a hard word to uh to say in Spanish. I don't know. I just understand it in English. I know how to translate it. I understand it in English, but I don't know the meaning of it exactly in Spanish. Well, we can look it up. You know? Let's see what we find. All right, you may go on. I'll help you with that word in a couple of minutes here. Going with number three. Did you finish number three? No, right? No. no. All right, go on with number three. Let me work on that word for the okay. right translation. <laughs> it's your turn, Freddy. Oh, okay. Number three, the, astro the astrological nature of the Mayan. Nature, used... nature. Oh, thank you, thank you. The astrological nature of the Mayan use of astronomical data explained in part why so few written records exceed of that data. The Mayans believe that the passage of the sun continued throughout the night, only then it was traveling through the underworld. This was believed to be a peril perilous journey with many demonic figures lurking in the darkness, waiting to ambush. Mm -hmm the sun to prevent it from return to the sky at dawn. Question, the word it in the passage refers to letter A, night, letter B, sun, letter C, passage, or letter D, data. Mm. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, thus means así. Así. Okay. Así sumer sumergiéndola, all right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, the correct the mm. question. Slowly. Morning. Hi, Julia. Hi. Um. Hello. 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 How are you doing? What number are you working on? And uh, uh, four. Four? All right. How are you doing with number one and number two? What was the uh, what were the answers for you guys? Yes, we finished the one, two, and three. All right. What was the answer for number one for you, girls? 
And um, the answer. The answer, yes. For number one, what do you think it was? Letter D. Letter D. Just remind me what it was. The choices. What were the choices for letter uh, for number one? I don't have it with me right now. Letter D was cold tempers. Oh, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about for number two? What was number, the, the choice for number two? Letter A. Such debris? Such debris, yes. that's the one? Yeah. Yes. Mm, all right. Okay. What about three? Letter B. Letter B. Let me see it here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number one and number two, double check because they are not quite right. Okay. All right, but number three, you have it right. But number one and number two, we need to work on those two, okay? Okay. Very good. Continue working. I'm going to go and check another group. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Hello, Evelyn. Who's Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Excuse me. I have some problems with the platform. But I. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you're here. All right, Evelyn and Manuel, how are yeah. you? Yeah. Fine, fine. Yeah. What number are you working on? <laughs> I'm working in number three. Number three. All right. Can you give me the answers for number one and for answer, uh, the answer for number two? How are you doing with those? What was your answer for number one? Letter D. Letter D called temperatures. Is that right? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Some um, species. No. Some species. Yes. Uh -huh. Perfect. Very good. Yeah. That, that's correct. Some species. Species. Letter yes. D. Very good, yeah, that's the answer. What about species. number two? Species. A species. Species. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, what was the answer for number two then? I think it's letter A. 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 Solar energy? Mm, no, no such debris. Such debris. Mm -hmm. Mm, all right, double check number two because it's not quite right. Number, number oh, two is not right. I think it's letter D too. Letter D, our planet. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect, very good. Yeah. Excellent, <laughs> very nice. Oh my God. You have me there. <laughs> very good. You, too, you, too teacher. You, have a, you have a good energy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Okay. Long time. You, Maribel, almost a year. What? We didn't see each other for one year, más o menos, ¿verdad? Como un año. Uh huh. Yeah. Maybe no. I think I I was with you at level level before level six in the mid the mid. Intermediate. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a year ago. Yeah. One year ago, about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very uh -huh. good. <laughs> okay. All right. Keep on working. So, did you finish number three, or you're going to work on number three? So the next is the we are working three. on. Okay. I have a question, but this is the no number three. Uh huh. Yes, what about historical yeah. nature? Nature. 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 Uh -huh. uh huh. What happened to that one? What's your question, Rodrigo? I, I don't have the the picture, teacher, because uh -huh. I I. I you got disconnected. Have problems with. All right, Rodrigo. This is number three. Can you yeah. Rodrigo? Okay, 
That's number three. Maybe you can take a picture. Do you have number four? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a second, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Do you have number four, Rodrigo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Very good. So Rodrigo and, and um, Maribel and Evelyn keep on working. Very good. I'm going to go and check on another group, okay? Okay. Good job. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Right. You girls finished? And the second one. You're in the second one right now? Yes. Okay. Very good. What was, do you have the answer for number one? Let us see. Uh, harsh conditions. Yes. Yeah. Mm, are you sure? Mm. Let's see, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna share with you right now. That's, that's the one, right? Can you see my screen? Um. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. All right. Okay. So if let, we're not going to read everything, but let's read some species, okay? It says some species are well adapted to these harsh conditions, but for uh -huh. those that aren't, those who? Cold temperatures. No, what are we talking about? Listen, listen again. Some species are species of birds. Some species are well adapted to these harsh conditions. Right. Letter D. Excellent. Yeah, harsh conditions cannot be because it's right beside it, so you cannot really make sense of it. But those but harsh we, aren't. Uh huh. We we said letter D first one, and you said that it's in, incorrect. Um, you know why? Because I thought it was number two. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I made a mistake. It's my mistake. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know what? I heard it was letter E. When you told me the answer, I thought you said letter D. No, letter D. I'm sorry, I made you work double. I'm sorry. My mistake. No, it's letter um. And in the second one. <laughs> okay, and now let's check number two. Uh, on the second one is our planet. Our planet, ah, okay. Yeah, this one, is incorrect yeah, for yeah. us. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, right. yes. <laughs> yeah, that was correct. Yeah, I'm sorry, girls, I'm very sorry, but I thought I heard letter B. I'm sorry, it's my age, all right? Okay. <laughs> all right. I have headache. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's my fault, all right. <laughs> Okay, did you finish the other two? No, and the, the, the third one, yes, and the fourth, we put letter D. Mm. What about number D. three? What do you think it is? Letter B. Yes, the sun, right. Very good, yay, girls, very good. And <laughs> for the last one, you said you put letter D, as in J. Oak. Oh, oh okay. right. no, that's not correct. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Yeah, I'm sure of that one. All right, very good. Okay. I'll give you one like a couple of more minutes and then we're gonna go back together, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. I know. <laughs> okay. Yes, my office is in Centro de Gobierno. Oh, yes. On Alameda Juan Pablo II. So it, it was hard to get the last day because of the sanitary closing. Quarantine. Oh. Quarantine, yes, yes. All right, girls, you finished? Yes. Okay, so how was number three and number four? Let me see. Letter B, Letter B for number? For number three, letter B, and for number four, letter B, for both. For number four is letter B, as in baby. And number four is letter yes. B also. Yes, yeah, very good. Good job. Very good. Nice. 
Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Good job. All right, so we're going to wait. For, there's one group that is still reading the last, uh, the last passage, and then we're going to go back together. And I want you guys to share with us why did you choose the answers you chose, which are correct. But I want to see the explanation, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Games. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Gabriela. Are you guys finished? Hi, teacher. Yes. All right. Very yes. good. So what do you think the answer for number three was then? Well, the uh, better... option B. Option B as in baby? Yes. yes. All right. Very good, Gabriela. Very good. Uh, Freddy, what about number four? I We think it's letter D. D? Oak? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Why? <laughs> well, uh, we think that uh, in that part, yeah, uh, which charcoal burners may by slowly burning logs in kings until they were reduced and concentrated carbon, carbon, carbon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we think that is the maybe the final process. Uh, in hardwood such like right. this oak the the oak to reduce mm. all right but uh, we are not sure because option b a is like hornos and kilns Research. is also hornos yes that so a know. and c no right yes all right so exactly. you are like trying to decide between b and d Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. So let's see. Hardwoods such as oak produced the best charcoal, which charcoal burners made by slowly burning logs in kilns until they were the reduced. Logs. The logs. Mm, okay. Log. All right. Two concentrated carbon. Mm -hmm. They're talking about logs. Logs is registro. No, logs is like troncos. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh -huh. we have other other meaning. other meaning, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. it, 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 which also means the same. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Uh, we want to know something. There are any difference between furnaces and cans? I think they are just synonyms and words that are very very similar. Remember that the idea of toffle is to trick you. All right. Mm -hmm. You may know burners with not a problem, or you may know furnaces with not a problem, but kilns is not a word very commonly used, but it means yes. the same. All right. So like they are, they are testing, they are playing with our minds here. That's what they do. They play with our minds. All right. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, furnaces or kilns is the same, but it's most like likely we're going to know the first one, know the second one. It's okay. like, for example, charcoal and carbon. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's like happy and content. You know, the same thing. <laughs> yes. But in a very sophisticated word. All right. Or a word that you may not use it so commonly. All right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. We're going to go back and we're going to share the answers. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Good job. Hi, everybody with me again? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we're right on time, guys. Let's see. Number one, we had, can you see, can you see my screen? Sure. All right, yeah. very good. So here we have um, the word those in the passage refers to northern winters, cold temperatures, harsh, harsh conditions, and some bird species. What do you guys have? Everybody. Anybody for number one? What's the answer? Letter D. Letter D. Letter D, right? D as in day. Very good. So they are talking about species of birds. If you go back, you don't have to read anything. Just go back to the, like a couple of sentences before that. And it says some species are well adapted to these harsh conditions. But for those, those what? 
those uh, some bird species that are not moving south to warmer conditions is advantages, all right? So it would be letter D, very good. Then we have number two, the word it in the passage refers to, what does it refer to guys? A, B, C, or D? Guys, Roberto, for you, is A, B, C, or D the choice? In this case, for me, it will be uh, B, solar energy. Ah, all right. What about for, for Manuel or anybody else? Letter D. D. D, okay. Girls, Hello. why letter D? Uh -huh. Is, is <laughs> B, solar energy. Ah, all right. B for you. All right. For the, for the people, the, the girls that told me letter D as in day, why? Because it's talking about our planet. All right. So you have to go back. We say such debris could reduce the amount of solar energy reaching the surface of our planet, thus plunging it into regular cold periods. Plunging what? The planet. The planet. That's right. right. It's our planet. That would be the answer. All right. All right. Very good. Then we have number three. What do you guys have for the answer for number three? Uh, sun. I, think, I think it's letter C. Ah, all right. What about the rest of you guys? B, all right. We have B, yeah. B, okay. Anybody with A? Letter B. All right. Nobody with A? No. No, nobody with D? Yes. No. Data? Ah, uh, no, they don't know. No, all right, very good. Yeah, the answer would be letter B. Why, guys? Why do you think it's letter B? What travels? Does the night travel? No. No, the sun. No, the, the sun travels, all right? That's the, like pretty much that's common sense, but again, mm. it's not so obvious sometimes. So again, you have to read it again, all right? So you, you understand what it's talking about. And the last one, all right, the question, the word they in paragraph three, in this case, that little paragraph refers to furnaces, logs, kilns, or oak. What's the answer? B. B. Nidia, very good. Logs. Why, Nidia? Because um, they're talking about the hardwood such as oak produces the best charcoal, mm -hmm. which charcoal burners made it made by slowly burning logs in kilns until the logs, uh, logs right yes were reduced reduce. to concentrated carbon yes very good all right so in this case guys you need, remember that for these type of questions you always need to like read a little bit like two lines before the reference word so it helps you to get the like the the word that we're looking for rather than read everything everything that is there what he's trying to do is trying to confuse you all right that's the main point of this i was telling freddy and gabriela right you were working with gabriela freddy yes, yeah? yes. that what the point of toffle test is to measure your vocabulary all right so in this case for example burners and furnaces and kilns they mean the same have different words to refer like to refer to one same thing all right so you need to understand that TOEFL what measures is how much English you know or how much vocabulary you know all right so you need to read and read and read and read and listen and listen and listen and listen for you to succeed on this uh, test all right so that's the idea behind this yeah. okay very good guys yeah. I need to go I have another class I'm gonna send this presentation again to the whatsapp group so you can always go back to it all right if you don't know all the meanings of all the words it's always good to like go back and then kind of like get a pen and a notebook and just kind of write your own vocabulary list and try to improve the idea is we may not know every single word but the idea is to understand the whole uh context all right and as as like as many words you like know and learn the better is for you all right you right okay. away and i have the answers underlined right at the like at the very end of the presentation just for you to double check okay 
So okay. tomorrow okay. we're gonna go with the third type of question that is in the reading section, all right? So if you have time to look at it and stuff, that would be good. If not, we can like always review it with me here. We'll do some practices like we did yesterday, like we did today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, all right? So thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great thank night. You. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you. See you.